Hello, this is our little mini tour guide of the Gower, um, myself and Charles. Shumai. Who is driving are going down to the Worm's Head, uh, which is on the Gower Peninsula in South Wales. Penhringoyer. Penhringoyer. We're currently driving through a little village called Penclaus. Um, and it's a bit wet, which is alright, because it makes it a bit moody. Kind of adds to the effect, and I mean the sea will be nice and dramatic, which is good. Gower is actually one of the oldest English-speaking communities in Wales. It was English-speaking at a time where the rest of Wales wouldn't have been able to speak English, it would have been Welsh only. This has always been a slight clash linguistically. Um, there are a lot of Welsh place names on here, but they've either disappeared, been anglicised or badly mispronounced. Sorry people from Gower, it's true and you know it. Would it be right in saying that the Gower Peninsula was the first area of natural beauty in Britain? Oh yes, it's the first designated area of outstanding natural beauty. Outstanding natural Kingdom. beauty. Outstanding natural beauty, um, which m means it's just one step down from a national park. Well, wow. That is because of its awe-inspiring landscape. That sounds wonderful. Uh, as you'll see when we get down on Worms Head, yeah. which is an unfortunate name for such a beautiful place because worms aren't very attractive, but it doesn't actually come from the look of a worm, as in the worm from the ground. It actually comes from the old Anglo-Saxon word for dragon. Oh, right. Yeah, which was something like vur, uh -huh. which means dragon because it looks like a dragon. But people now, vur came to mean worm, and English adopted the Latin word dragon, which is uh, Draco in Latin. Yeah. And so Vorum came to mean worm. So actually, if people say Worm's Head is named Worm's Head because it looks like a worm, they're wrong. It's actually named Worm's Head because it, it looks, looks like, like a dragon. dragon. Well, that's much more exciting. It is. I think we should rename it Dragon's Head. Yeah. And that would, that would be quite Welsh nationalistic as well. Isn't okay. It? Isn't so it? when we get maybe to Worm's Head, you can tell us a little bit more about the history behind uh, Worm's Head, the history behind maybe um, the village, which is um, Rossilly. Rossilly. Yeah, I think I've exhausted all my information now. All right. That's a bit of a shame. I'd also just like to add that Charles is a bit of an irresponsible driver and uh, we almost got killed. But thankfully, we narrowly escaped death. Um, I think Danger is Charles' middle name. Is Danger your middle name? Um, it's Danger Under Control. We're uh, just by Worm's Head now, we're just walking down the road. Um, as you can see, the beautiful Rossilly Beach. And the tide's quite far out, so we got a lot of sand and it looks very lovely. And uh, there's a nice Highland Coo um, standing over there in the field. And Charles, if you go down there, you can see some of the nice Highland Coo's uh, dung. And we tried to get down to the beach, but we got very, very wet. Oh, it started raining earlier, didn't it? Yes, yeah. so we, we went back to our cottage and had our lunch, and now we've come here and we see this big, big beach. Let's swing round and show this big, beautiful beach. beach. It's famous for being very big, very sandy, yeah. and when there's a lot of waves, the surfers all come here, and they have, have do a lot of surfing. It's absolutely stunning, isn't it? It is, and if you're very energetic, you can climb up Rosilli Down, which is Let's over there. Let's have a look there. over there. That's a steep climb. Oh, yeah. You can walk all the way along the top. And if I just zoom up in that lovely little house over there. And the house used to be lived in by the minister. That's the old vicarage. It's called the old vicarage. Ah, uh, okay. Owned by the National Trust. You can hire it out yeah. as a holiday cottage. Right. And it was there because it's exactly midway between Rosilly and Flangenith. Ah, oh, right. The that's village interesting. The I never knew end, that. And the vicar looks after both parishes. Oh, wow. So that was where he had to live. Great. So if somebody died, he had to walk that oh, way, right. and if he died this way, oh, he had to walk this way. Yeah. And uh, so now it's owned by the National Trust, yeah. which is it's lovely. Oh well, thank you for that, and have enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Dominy are a by Rossilly Menin. Here we are on the cliffs above uh, Rossilly Bay down here, one of the most beautiful bays. Our Ben Ryn Goyer. Ni reit ar ddiwydd pen rhyn goer sy'n golygu bod ni eithau agos at yr awyrdd. Um, mae rownd mae hyn, mae i werddon a mae cerniw, mae deir llew yn Cymru yn gwthio'r i werydd ti mewn i fod hafren a mae'n achosi llawer o wynt. Felly, yn, oedd rhaid ni ddod o hyd i rhywfaeth o gasgod um, 
er mwyn uh, ffilmio'n dda heb wynt yn effeithio'r y sŵn. Charles, can so, I just say something? You're, you're forgetting to translate as you go. Yeah, I'm going to translate now, right. thanks very much. Although I've forgotten what I said now. So, I know you would, that's why I said trans yes. translate as you go. Yeah, well, I was still in one sentence. Yeah. So, what I was saying was, before I was really interrupted, was we're above um, Rosalie, um, the most beautiful bays on the Gau Peninsula. It's right at the end of Gower. It's very windy because Ireland, Cornwall, and Southwest Wales push the Atlantic into the uh, Bristol Channel, which we call the Mor Havren, uh, which means Seven Sea after the River Seven. Um, so it causes a lot of wind. And we had to find shelter um, so that we could film well without the wind affecting our sound here. Yeah. So, how's that for you? Do you like that little translation? That's great, the, thanks for that. That was a little, little off the cuff. Thing, Bilingual uh, description. Message thanks. because we are in Wales and yeah. it's a very beautiful. Okay, area. Charles, wave, wave goodbye, Charles. Local, local. Wave goodbye, Charles. Oh. Try and miss all the sheep shit. Yeah, Charles. I'm trying. <laughs> That's about. Watch where you go in.